Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have much time here, so I'm going to make this very quick, very snappy. But uh, what we can say with Bitcoin as a price update, nothing really has happened here. We have had a bit of volatility in this area over the past week, right? But yes, we are just still oscillating around the three-day volume-weighted ATR band and trying to maintain and reclaim the four-day volume-weighted ATR band. Um, besides that, long term, yes, we are still inside the bull market barrier. We would need a pump essentially today or early next week to kind of reverse this. Otherwise, I am more on the side of us coming down and uh, testing some lower areas like 50k, somewhere around there, um, if we can't recover quickly, right? And the reason for this is very simple. The on-chain right now, oh, is just a black screen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll start off with this, right? Uh, once we do lose the bull market barrier, typically we do transition into that bear market period. Uh, do I think it's a bear market? No, I think it will likely, more likely just be like a, a few month period where we stay under this and we kind of test this bottom trend line down, uh, maybe not 40K, but 50K I can see happening quite easily, okay? And just kind of oscillating around this area before picking back up again towards the end of the year. That's kind of my plan right now if we stay in this area. If we can recover and get a massive pump here today, then uh, yeah, ideally over the next few weeks we need to get above 66 66 66.6, that kind of area above this bull market barrier. Uh, and that's more of the long term, okay? The, the short term here, guys, is very, very simple. All we need to do is essentially get above 62.5 and we look for a long, ideally we're above this um, one hour 200 EMA coming through here as well. Basically this level, right? So if we want to pump up here today, if we get above this area here, then I'll be looking for a long up to the top area there. Um, not necessarily along that big, but ideally between 62.5 and 63.5. That's really my plan here for a long. In terms of a short, if we do get rejected here, uh, it's essentially, as we talked about yesterday, we're looking for about 60,500 down. Okay, you could extend that to 60,000 um, and just say, yeah, ha have that as your entry because it's a round number, right? If we do lose it, then uh, there could be a 1% trade down to this 60-minute volume weighted ATR band on the short term, right? Uh, so very, very simple, easy trades to be had here today if it does want to come through anyway. Uh, if not, absolutely fine. Again, uh, we are just waiting for a low to be made so we can initiate our major grid bot strategy. And the grid bot strategy, if you don't know what it is, it is essentially this. So you see uh, this area and this area, we're gonna be layering in orders, okay? And then as Bitcoin oscillates, right, then we're gonna be filling and replenishing those orders to make copious amounts of cash. That's pretty much it. That's the plan. And that's pretty much the video. I know it's a short one here, guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, not too much to talk about here. I don't want to waste your time. Besides that, obviously, we're looking for these big, big measure moves if we can get them. And that would be from about 50, 56 down to, to around 55 anyway. Uh, towards the downside. Downside super risky, but if it is a crashing scenario, yes, we'll be targeting that measure move for sure. And then the upside here, we just break the all-time high and we bang it to 82K for an investment long. Very, very easy, okay? So that's going to be it from me on chain. Still looking really, really rough, okay? So still fairly bearish here. Just be careful of those capitulation events. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for liking it as well. Peace. Peace. I'm going to end, end it.